Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB4181 sunglasses. So first off, let's go ahead and pop the sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 57 millimeter lenses and a 16 millimeter bridge. The frames are made out of mostly a nylon material and they have these really nice gradient lenses here, which are brown gradient lenses. I think that adds a really cool look to these frames. Gradient lenses are extremely practical and they also look really good as well and they're practical because the sunlight of course when it's very bright is going to be coming from up high and then coming in at that angle so it makes sense to have a very dark part of the lens up high and then here in the middle and then down low usually there's not something bright coming from down low so it makes a lot of sense to do these gradient lenses and again it really adds a cool look to these frames as well now this particular pair of sunglasses with these gradient lenses have category two lenses so they're going to be good for pretty bright days to overcast days, but they're not going to be great for extremely bright and sunny days. However, these sunglasses come with G15 lenses and a couple of other lenses that are category four lenses, which will offer better protection from the sun. These lenses are gonna block 100% of UVA and UVB rays. Of course, like every pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, we can see they have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens. And then here in the middle of the sunglasses, we can see there is an etched RB logo there for authentication purposes. Now these sunglasses frame are made in Italy and they sit here in the inner right temple of the sunglasses they just say Ray-Ban made in Italy. The sunglasses have extremely premium all metal hinges which feel very good when open up and when closing them they just feel very nice and substantial and these are a five barrel hinge which is really nice to see. Now moving down to the temple we can see there is a raised Ray-Ban logo on both the left and the right hand side of these frames and then if we move down the temple we can just see there aren't any fancy e-rests or anything like that the e-rests are just built into the the nylon frames. Now what's interesting about nylon is it's much more lightweight than acetate. So these frames with polymer lenses are very lightweight, which is really nice. If these were acetate, they'd probably be about a third heavier. So this is pretty nice that they are lightweight, but because they're nylon, there isn't a metal stem that runs down the temple. You can actually just heat up these frames and you don't need that metal stem to help hold the adjustments that you make. As far as looks go, I really do like the looks of these sunglasses. And what's really nice about these frames is they offer very good coverage from the sun, especially considering that the frames kind of have a Wayfair style to them. So here up top, we can see there is not a big gap to the sunlight and unprotected because they have a really nice base curve that kind of curves around the face. And then here on the sides, I would say there's an average gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. So definitely not the best coverage on the side, but definitely very good coverage here up top. So overall, they're definitely a pretty practical pair of sunglasses. Now, as far as pricing goes, these sunglasses are going to run you around $165 directly from Ray-Ban's website. Say. However, they're much cheaper on Amazon, so I'm going to leave a link description below for you guys to check out these sunglasses directly from Amazon. They're around $140 there, so definitely worth your while to pick them up from Amazon. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs down below, and of course, make sure to subscribe button, and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.